How's it going everyone? It's Avi from Mother Spongebob. That was in today is January 2nd, 2022. And of course, in this video, we'll be focusing on the extreme northeast snowstorm that's expected to occur within the next 24 hours and bring over a foot of snow in some areas in the northeast. And we'll also talk about our next potential snowstorms that could impact the United States over the next week. But before I begin, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather lake content. Make sure to like if you like this video and make sure to turn on post over cases if you want to see even more weather related content so let's begin by taking a look at the united states radar for the entire lower 48 and as you can see we have that snowstorm that brought a decent amount of snow throughout the midwest now beginning to move northeastward it's still dumping snow in upstate new york as well as portions of maine but this should eventually head eastward and won't be much of a threat to you guys any longer so it isn't something we're gonna need to worry about in the near in the, at least the next 24 hours which is certainly good but just watch out for some snow showers right around upstate new york and maine but you see that if we were to head further southward right around southeast we do have some thunderstorm activity associated with this developing trough and this is developing as a result of a very pronounced jet stream dip and just a high amount of instability in the atmosphere right around the southeast as i forecasted in my prior videos where i detected that we're gonna see a jet stream dip that's gonna be very that's going to be pronounced enough and go far south enough to where we're going to see just enough of an unstable environment right around southeast for a high amount of lift in the atmosphere to occur for a low pressure system to develop and that low pressure system will become our major snowstorm for the northeast that could dump over a foot of snow in some areas in the northeast but we're already starting to see snow showers associated with this low pressure system right around tennessee and the extreme northern portions of of Mississippi where we're even seeing some freezing rain reports right around these areas so watch out for some snow showers and a small freezing rain threat right around Mississippi and Tennessee it won't be anything major but it's at least something you want to be aware of while driving around um through the roads in Tennessee because some of these snow bands associated with the, um this area of snow showers are quite heavy at times so you need to be prepared in case you're driving out right around Tennessee and Mississippi and this snow and this area of snow is only expected to expand as it heads further northeastward once of course the temperatures do get colder as a slow pressure system moves northeastward along with the jet stream and it should rapidly intensify as it moves northeastward as well as this storm continues its endless cycle of just continuing to strengthen as it heads further northeastward and we're gonna see an unstable environment uh, just uh, just enough of an unstable environment for uh rapid intensification to occur as this heads further northeastward so you so i like i said in my prior videos with this snowstorm there was just a lot of uncertainty and it wasn't really until maybe only around 12 hours ago where we really actually began to have certainty with this forecast which is quite uh which is quite a short time frame from when we're certain with the, from the point where certain in the forecast and the event it, that event actually happened so it's a very short time frame within only 24 hours out from the event that's when we were really certain that we're going to see a major snowstorm because before 24 hours before this when this event will occur we were completely uncertain because both the gfs model and the european model were both in big disagreements with each other with the european model pretty much not bringing any sort of major snowstorm to the northeast or no snow at all to the northeast while the gfs model was persistent on bringing just a major snowstorm to the northeast and it seems like the gfs model one in this case where now the european is leaning more towards bringing a major snowstorm to the northeast just like the gfs model has been saying over the past several days if you were to take a look at the forecasted radar as of the 12z the latest 12z run from the european computer model if we were to continue to move forward you see this low pressure system continues to strengthen as it heads further eastward because there's a ridge that's located to the east of it bringing a strong southwesterly flow bringing a lot of that warmer gulf of mexico that warmer gulf of mexico air mass further northward and it's interacting with the cooler arctic air that's creating just a lot of instability right around the east coast for this 
low pressure system to rapidly intensify and to see a lot of lift in the atmosphere for a lot of convection to occur and you see that the snow area continues to expand as this low pressure system heads further eastward you see that by early monday we begin to see the snow approach the northern portions of virginia and even washington dc and baltimore get involved in the snow because one of the big questions with this storm is how far west will the snow extend to because there was even though the gfs model was per still persistent on a major snowstorm for the northeast it was more leaning towards bringing the heaviest snow further southeastward of the mid-atlantic states more specifically aiming towards the delmarva peninsula and the eastern portion of virginia and it wasn't bringing much snow to areas just west of the interstate 95 corridor which includes washington dc baltimore philadelphia but now we're seeing heavy snow extend through washington dc baltimore and even philadelphia is getting involved and there's a chance new york city could get involved as well with some snowfall and maybe even portions of southern new england and the eastern portion of long island so this is definitely something throughout the northeast you need to watch even if you're in new york city while the forecast doesn't expect to bring heavy snowfall for you guys just now it's going to be a very very close forecast it's going to be one of those forecasts where any small differences in the trajectory of the low pressure system can make a big difference in terms of how much snowfall accumulation you actually experience especially if you're very close to pretty much the edge of this storm where you're on the edge between where it's dry and where you're going to receive a lot of snow and new york city is one of those places where it's going to be that forecast is going to be very close but you see the european model now is leaning more towards gfs it's bringing heavy snow throughout virginia the uh, delmarva peninsula southern new jersey is getting involved philadelphia and extending through new york city and the metropolitan areas in new york city as well and southern new england so that's at least something we need to keep in mind in terms of what the gfs model is saying the gfs model is pretty much stating the same thing at this point um taking a look at the gfs and look at how heavy the gfs wants to bring um how heavy the snowfall is throughout virginia and delmarva peninsula when this slow pressure system heads eastward we're seeing purple readings associated with the slow pressure system which represents extremely heavy snow in excess of over maybe close to if not over an inch of snow per hour which would just be extremely heavy snow you can't at that point you cannot go out on the roads and and it and it won't be risky as it that, that snow if the gfs model was correct is just extremely heavy and it's pretty much white out conditions at that point um it might be hopeful that we're not going to see snow that heavy but the gfs model has been correct over the past several days so it might be one of those cases where the gfs model knows more what about what it's talking about with this specific low pressure system than the european model which could mean that you're in for snowfall rates well over an inch of hour throughout virginia the delmar peninsula and even southern new jersey in this case so there's something something you definitely want to keep in mind but whether the gfs model or the european model is correct it's pretty much certain at this point virginia um, maryland the delmarva peninsula as well as southern new jersey and even the extreme southern portions of um, pennsylvania and west virginia you're going to experience a major snowstorm the question i'm really um posing is um, how heavy will the snow actually be and how much snowfall accumulation you actually will experience and especially in the areas just to the northern on the northern edges of this storm the trajectory will mean big things a year um when it comes to how much snow you experience i'm talking about areas such as philadelphia you're right on the edge new york city you're right on the edge the northern portion of new jersey you're right on the edge of this snowstorm and even the southern portion of new england you're right on the edge of maybe receiving no snow or potentially three to five inches of snow so this is going to be a close forecast but um there, it's pretty certain that it'll take sort of this general trajectory but there could be small differences that could make a big difference in terms of how much snow you experience on northern edges of the storm so make sure to be aware of that and potentially prepare even if you aren't expected to receive a ton of snow because i think any small tra trajectory changes 
um, could mean a big difference when it comes to impacts you experience. So make sure to be aware of that throughout the Northeast. But you're probably wondering how much snow should you expect from the G from the GFS model scenario and the European model scenario. So if we were to take a look at the GFS model, the GFS model is still which has been a trend over the past several days still has been leaning more towards bringing not only heavier snowfall but snowfall over a larger area where we're seeing snow as far north as the boston area and we're seeing areas in virginia west virginia and uh and the delmar peninsula and new jersey receive well over a foot of snow in this scenario which would be quite devastating throughout um, the mid-Atlantic states and would be just very, very impactful. Um, so the, the GFS model is expecting more so than the European model, quite a bit more so because if we were to take a look at the European model, the European model doesn't want to bring as much snow, but still bringing a heavy amount of snow and it's major either way. But you see the European model does bring over a foot of snow throughout the Delmarva Peninsula and the eastern portion of Maryland as well. So this, so I'd say over a foot of snow in the Delmar Peninsula should be expected and maybe even as far south as southern New Jersey as well where you could experience maybe over a foot of snow. So there's something, definitely something you need to keep in watch. But I want to take a look further northward. Look at, at New, look at the forecast in New York City. You're right in the edge between receiving no snow at all to potentially receiving six to 12 inches so in the european model and it's not that much different if we take a look at the gfs model because the gfs model in, in in new york city is you're pretty much right on the edge between six to 12 to maybe um receiving um maybe only an inch of snow in new york city so very close forecast but i'll make sure to keep you guys updated as we get more forecasts so you see that uh, as we get more updates, you see that New York City right on the edge. So this is definitely something we need to keep and watch over the next several days because it will definitely be big in terms of forecasts and even areas in Connecticut need to pay close attention. This um, and even areas for the south we need to pay close attention to some snowfall. So, but I'd say for the Mid Atlantic, still prepare. This is going to be a major snowstorm. Um, one of the big, probably the biggest you've seen, of course, in months, because this will pretty much be your first major snowstorm in the mid-Atlantic states, because it's been a quiet winter so far, but now it seems like the winter will begin with a major snowstorm in the mid-Atlantic, more specifically, specifically the southern portions of the mid-Atlantic, where Virginia will get the hardest hit, Maryland and Delaware and Southern New Jersey will get the hardest hit, but there's also areas for northward where you could experience some accumulating snowfall that could be impactful for travel. So make sure to keep that in mind over the next over the next 24 hours because it could be big. Now, um, in terms of what else is going could occur in the United States over the next week. So if we were to take a look, we, we of course are going to see that major snowstorm move through the mid-Atlantic states, um, but we're going to see another uh, snowstorm move through the Pacific Northwest, and this could dump a decent amount of snow in the higher elevations, and again, you might experience some snow potentially in the lower elevations closer to Seattle, so you need to pay close attention for the potential snow right around Seattle and Portland, but if we were to continue to move further, we do have a clipper system that will move through the northern Midwest, which is some another thing we need to pay close attention to. If we were to take a look at snowfall forecast, uh, GFS model is stating with this next clipper system moving through. So moving forward, um, we of course will see that major snowstorm in the Midwest, but we're also gonna see that clipper system bring a decent amount of snow. And the GFS model is forecasting quite a, a bit, right around one to three to maybe three to six inches of snow. So make sure to be aware of that this should happen right around the Thursday time frame, Wednesday to Thursday, so keep that in mind. And you see in the Pacific Northwest, especially in the higher elevations, you're receiving feet of snow, not inches, but feet of snow. So that's at least something we need to keep in mind over the next um, week in the Pacific Northwest. Um, Taking a look at what could happen even beyond this clipper system and um, this major snowstorm in the Pacific Northwest. Um, moving forward with it, you see that. Um, that by around uh, 
um, 102 hour mark to maybe around the um, 96 hour mark. I'm just waiting for this um, to load. You see that we're going to see that Clipper system eventually move just to the north of the northeast so we shouldn't see major impacts and in terms of the major snowstorm i was talking to you guys about that maybe could have happened on the 7th um it seems like the gfs model isn't really leaning towards a major snowstorm anymore as it's forecasting the jet stream dip to be a little bit too far east for the northeast to experience any sort of snowfall which i outlined as a possibility in my previous video so um um, but the, again, we're still five days out. A lot could change till the, the till the seventh. So that's definitely something we still need to be aware of in the northeast, especially since the European model still is leaning towards being a major snowstorm. It's going to be one of those cases again where we're going to need to wait and see which computer model will be correct, which computer model will eventually um, will eventually lean over or mimic each other, because that will then give us confidence with the forecasts um with just like with this atlantic um with this mid-atlantic snowstorm we're about to experience it took it took a lot of time for the european to eventually uh, mimic the gfs mall but now we're finally seeing it and now we can say with certainty a major snowstorm will occur in the mid-atlantic so make sure to keep that in mind right around northeast and mid-atlantic but so here's my snowfall official snowfall forecast regarding this next major mid-atlantic snowstorm so in the delmarva peninsula and extending through maryland and virginia i'm expecting right around 12 to 18 inches of snow which is considered major for you guys make sure to prepare get the salt ready get the shovels ready because it's going to be a major snowstorm for you guys um, one of the first major snowstorms you of course experience in maybe a year for some of you guys and then just to the north of that um throughout southern new jersey expect 6 to 12 inches of snow and 6 to 12 throughout a large portion of virginia this includes cities such as washington dc baltimore you need to prepare for 6 to 12 inches so and then you see 3 to 6 inches just to the north of that this includes philadelphia on um, the northern portion of the jersey shore and extending through um west virginia and the higher elevations of north carolina and tennessee expect right around three six inches so but you see that right around new york city philadelphia it's going to be a close forecast for you guys because any small differences in the trajectory could mean the difference between no so to potentially maybe over six inches of snow so make sure to be prepared for a possibility we could see major d drastic changes in the forecast over the next 24 hours because the forecast is definitely subject to change when you're right on the edge between no snow and receiving heavy snow and one to three throughout the northern portions of the southeast um so make sure to keep that in mind as well for this next snowstorm but i uh, thank you guys for watching